Good day, retainers. In this motivational video, we'll look at ways to develop into a better person. Always strive to improve yourself as a person. But the majority of people choose to accept their mediocrity with indifference. Therefore, a conversation on the characteristics and way of life of the superior man should benefit all of us. The stronger guy looks for what he already has, while the superior man looks for what others have. For effect, they strive for progress. The wise guy will prioritize morality before comfort. Virtue entails putting long-term interests ahead of short-term ones. Everyone has the option to change their situation if they are unhappy with who they are and how their life is going. Here are traits of the superior man that one should pursue to elevate themselves. Number 1. Beyond renowned and accomplished, but approachable and modest. The Goldilocks zone of personal accomplishment is this duality of societal success while being grounded and approachable. Confucius remarked, The superior man is humble in his discourse, but excels in his acts, which we believe is the greatest way to say it. They are consulted by others for counsel and direction. They established trends, showed their value and judgment, and are now acknowledged as leaders in their neighborhood. They are the ones who set the example and are the trailblazers. Children aspire to be this person when they grow up. Don't ever lose sight of the fact that you started at the bottom yourself before you found success and received recognition. Number 2. For some strange reason, society has associated happiness with success. A lot of individuals want to be happy in life. The majority of individuals also have a strong desire to succeed in life and they frequently think that happiness will follow success. The wiser you are, society wants you to be less happy. But here's the tricky one. If you're so intelligent, why aren't you happy? Why don't you use that great intellect of yours to mend your happiness? A joyful existence is what the better man seeks, not the brief moments of pleasure that substitute for happiness. You just don't want to give the impression of happiness. You truly want to be joyful. The only way to get there is to know yourself, and the only way to know yourself is to explore. The superior guy got to where they are now by exploring the world and enjoying the fruits of their victory. Number 3. Acknowledge your limitations and be aware that some of them are your fault. A measure of expertise is knowing one's limitations. We are not meant to be the one-size-fits-all solution that everyone can use and enjoy. Instead, a more accomplished individual will see their advantages and place a strong wager on them. Betting on your strengths in the game of life will provide better returns than attempting to correct your deficiencies will. The wise guy realizes that you should not adopt the restrictions of others around you. To venture into your own personal unknown and discover what is there, you want to be extravagant in life. Even if what comes next is unpleasant, you will still learn from it. Do not be afraid to look for your limits. If you can't face your fears, they become your limitations. Number 4. Very well educated. A wise man once said, Beware of the man of a single book, and it has lasted with us ever since. Consider it, and give it any meaning you wish. We don't emphasize degrees when we discuss education. Rather, we emphasize wisdom. Our collective experiences make up our education. After finishing school, it's often what you utilize to navigate life. Being well-educated in this sense equates to having a broad awareness of topics outside of one's own culture and customs. A conversation on any topic may be readily carried on by highly educated individuals with anyone. It doesn't imply you're a walking encyclopedia. Far from it. But the superior man is fundamentally curious about how the world works. A well-educated mind will always have more questions than answers. It's a fact. Being sincere, modest, and compassionate is a sign of education. Number 5. Include hard and soft skills. Soft talents are what help you ace the interview. Hard skills are what qualify you for a position. Hard skills are what you can create while soft skills are what you use to convince others to join you in the process. If your only qualifications are hard skills, someone will hire you to build out their dream. If all you possess are soft skills, you'll have to persuade builders to assist you to build your own. 
The superior man possesses both because when combined, they are immensely valuable. Soft skills, which may be developed through the schooling we already discussed, are more about who you are than what you know. These educational foundations are what shape who we are and the principles we uphold. Don't be the type of person that, as soon as they have any authority, loses all manners. The world is evolving. The fact is that as more and more hard talents are mechanized, we are just now beginning to consider soft skills seriously. In the future, hard talents will program robots based on other people's soft abilities. Number 6. Can cook and is a great host. The majority of people are unaware that cooking is more about people than it is about food. One of the few things in the world that can unite people is food. We combine cooking and hosting since both activities serve the same social function of bringing people together. Understanding food is crucial for good health, as is, to some extent, realizing that you're nourishing your body rather than your own. Since society revolves around food, Someone who is knowledgeable about it is also knowledgeable about society as a whole. Nobody is a superb cook by birth. One learns it by doing, just like anything good in life. The same applies to being a fantastic host. It involves effort, research, and ingenuity, just like any other significant ability. A host who makes a guest feel at home is someone they will never forget. People remember how we make them feel, and over time, the superior guy develops a skill set. Number 7. Can speak art. Great art speaks to every one of us, even when they don't know who we are. Most people picture beautiful paintings hanging on museum walls when they think of art, yet everything that evokes a feeling counts as art. Culture is captured in art at various points in time. When surrounded by art, the greater man flourishes. Being able to access mountains or the beach, living in a lovely city, listening to music that moves your soul, and looking into the eyes of the one you love while your heart quickens. It is indeed art. Your understanding of art changes the instant you realize this. All of a sudden, pictures or paintings on the wall are more than simply attractive canvases. They are also time capsules of historical events and emotions. Understanding art means understanding the world since the world is art in and of itself. Number 8. Well-traveled and wise. The majority of people mistake travel for tourism. You don't travel to a place. Rather, you travel to broaden your perspective on the world. When we successfully travel, our perspective on the world changes. Since it's not the lands that are foreign in a journey, it's the traveler who is foreign to those lands. Although you daily travel time and space, doing so on purpose enriches our lives. The wise man considers travel to be education. You may learn geography from a book or by traveling there yourself. Discover the truth about it, including how it tastes and smells. The more accomplished guy travels not to reach there, but to discover more of himself. So make travel arrangements before your time runs out. Number 9. Speaks Several Languages Here's a fact that most people are unaware of. You must first master at least two languages before you can comprehend one. The way our thinking changes when we jump between languages has long fascinated us. Culture is defined by language, and many cultures have diverse ways of life. A culture's travel guide is its language. It reveals the origins and destinations of individuals. It's astonishing how much more complicated you become as a person once a new language is added. You start to comprehend contexts and draw connections that you previously would not have. That's not all, though. It's unselfish and enables you to interact with others differently. You're trying because you don't want them to become accustomed to you. Instead, you're making an effort to reach out to them in their language. Number 10. Crushing Every Goal even when he is no longer required to prove anything to anybody else, the better man is constantly on the move, always pursuing and ascending. They act on their behalf. Real objectives are rare. The majority of individuals only have wishes. Most people wish for the best. The better man must ensure that the future he desires is being produced. As a result, he builds it himself. He cannot leave his future to chance. As a society, 
We have a deep respect for people who do what they say they will do, therefore strive to be one of them. Set objectives for yourself and use strategy to achieve them. Make the most of all the life lessons you have learned to increase your chances of success. Number 11. Etiquette and Manners Sometimes it may seem as though the world favors those who shout the loudest. Because our society is attention-seeking, one of the reasons fame is so unrelated to quality it is because of this. Nowadays, being nice entails acting artificially. Since you are the most important person on the entire planet, manners are irrelevant. Etiquette and manners are not about you, they are about everyone else. The more accomplished man recognizes that there is grace to living. When wine is consumed from a wine glass as opposed to a cup, the flavor is altered. When we appreciate our elderly, not because of their age, but because of how much vitality they still have in them, society is more peaceful. Man is made in his manners. Because it is precisely these behaviors and ways of thinking that set humans apart from other creatures. Learn good manners and appropriate behavior since doing so will elevate your experience here compared to all generations before you. Number 12. Contributes to the well-being of others. The wise guy knows that it is impossible to live a full life while surrounded by empty people and when you are the only one who is full. Be the tide that lifts all boats and one who makes it a priority to contribute to society. The wise man knows that all of life's gifts are exactly proportional to what we give back to it. The phrase you receive what you put out there is attributed to this. The finest form of existence is when you put things out there expecting nothing in return. According to the ancient Greek proverb, a society grows large when elderly men plant trees in whose shade they know they shall never sit. Number 13. Pushes everyone to step up their game. The one who alters the rules is the superior man. The scoreboard at the 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal wasn't even made to display the number 10 when Nadia Comanesi received a perfect score of 10. Instead, it displayed a 1.00 since no one thought it was possible. She rewrote the rules. The world was in disbelief when Roger Bannister ran the mile in under four minutes in 1954 because the rules had changed. The game shifted when Steve Jobs revealed the iPhone or Elon Musk the Tesla. The more accomplished guy does not obey. He separates from the group and forges his path. Everyone other does so. It's almost reckless to not act when you can. Number 14. Don't need to talk to have their presence felt. This is a result of the community's trust and esteem for the more accomplished guy. This is achieved by repeatedly demonstrating one's judgment. The decisions we've made up to this point add up to make us all, and wise choices accumulate over time. Because of this, society looks up to these people and imitates their behavior. Superior persons live eternally because their presence, their beliefs, and what they stand for transcend physical space and time. Create a lasting legacy so that your influence is felt forever. Number 15. Takes care of his family. A guy can never truly be affluent if he doesn't provide for his family. A man is never truly a man if he doesn't spend time with his family. And sure, this is from the Godfather movie. But Corleone is imparting a lesson that never goes out of style. If you are lucky enough to play the parent, look after your family first, and then involve everyone in the family. The main purpose of this video is to examine the qualities of a superior man including their character traits and interactions with their surroundings. When we explore further, we learn that the superior man serves as a father figure in society. The best man is the father figure you wish you had but don't. This concept is well ingrained in our society. We elevate people and take inspiration from them. Whether it be the Oprahs, the Elons, the Writers, the Jordan Petersons, the Naval, the Thiels, the Gogans, or the people you are closest to, because we aspire to be somewhat like them. These men are superior. When you stop looking up and start being seen from above, the perspective changes. How do we become who we want to be while still remaining ourselves? That is the one question that we have been attempting to answer for ourselves, 
We carefully choose the essential ideals we hold dear in the pursuit of personal betterment, and we upgrade our lives accordingly. It's been effective so far. The issues arise when the improvements we want to install are not based on where we want to go, but rather on what the outside world wants us to do. The demands of the world are loud, and occasionally they may be leading you on a path that you do not want to go. Those who discover stillness in a noisy environment are the real victors. We hope that everyone may find their stillness and the clarity they require to proceed. We still believe there are further qualities we might include on this list, so why don't you continue it from here? Tell us in the comments what characteristics superior people possess. By the way, if you found this helpful, don't forget to show some love. Tap the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Comment below on what you want to see next. See you in the next video. Imagine if we lived in a world in which all of our fantasies could come true without us having to do anything. Some make the argument that this would make life so much better, that we would all be content all of the time, and that everything would be perfect. What you are going to learn is the negative side of some activities that many of us engage in when no one is looking. When you have to trick in order to win, the game loses its purpose or significance. In an ideal world, we would have everything we desire without having to acquire it or work for it. This is not the world in which you want to live. Sure, it would be entertaining at first, but it would ultimately have no significance or purpose. The activity that so many men are involved in from behind our computer screens is similar to using hack tools for life, but in the worst way possible. The law of action and reaction states that every action produces a reaction, but in many cases, there is a lag or an imbalance throughout the time between your cause and effect, which is extremely important since if we don't realize the effect of some actions while we're doing them, the consequences eventually show up in our lives. So, why does using cheat codes end up destroying the game for us? The answer is that it removes the challenge. Psychologically, humans love a good challenge, and because of our culture, men are taught from a young age that women are the award, and that men simply are not. As a result, most women can just choose from among hundreds of different men. And in most cases, they will select the one who offers the greatest challenge for them, and it just so happens that on average, the man who provides a great challenge is also a good pick in terms of his personality and other assets. However, despite the fact that many are extremely lazy, men enjoy a good challenge. So what some guys do in their bedrooms when no one is looking completely removes the challenge. Over time, researchers have conducted numerous experiments in which they place a mouse in a cage and provide it with a lever and every time the mouse pulls the lever, he receives a dose of a chemical drug that emits dopamine within his brain. What scientists discovered after conducting these experiments should come as no surprise to anyone. What they discovered was that the mouse was simply allowed to select what he wished to do and was capable of pulling the lever whenever he wished. The mouse will indeed remain in the corner of his cage and pull the lever until he died of different causes, including malnutrition. In other words, if given the option to choose, every mouse tested will indeed sit in the corner of the cage carrying the lever all the time, while ignoring everything else that is important in its life. Essentially, the mouse stopped socializing, as well as worrying about food and exercise. All he seemed to be concerned with was pulling the lever. So what do you believe happens to men when they are presented with a lever? We humans enjoy a good challenge, so we didn't go to the moon expecting to find gold and diamonds. We reached the moon because we were ready for a challenge. Women seek out the best men they could get because they pose the greatest challenge. The things we enjoy doing the most in life are also the stuff that stimulates us the most, pushing us to push past our boundaries and grow. So every time you open that website, all you're doing is trying to pull a lever and there's no challenging task in that. When used correctly, flow is a mental state that is almost like a real-life superpower that enables us to achieve amazing things. You must participate in a task that has just the right amount of challenge. 
So not too easy, but also not too difficult, which is why challenges in life are so essential. And when you choose to simply pull the lever, the struggle that makes actions constructive is removed. It's like activating the cheat codes and ruining the game of life. However, there is a more sinister consequence for guys who simply pull the lever, and it's so crafty that most guys have no idea it's affecting the in the background. Imagine living in a massive mansion every day for 10 years. Over time, you would wake up and begin to expect the massive bathroom that you can walk into and get ready in, as well as the massive spiral staircase that leads you to the various levels of your home. You'd expect to look out the window and see your massive private pool, tennis court, or whatever else you had outside, and you'd grow to expect these things over time. Imagine suddenly having to move into a shelter and living there for 10 years. You would most likely be extremely depressed. Certain things that a lot of guys do when no one is looking change your expectations dramatically over time. So, the next time you meet a girl who likes you but just doesn't look like what you've come to expect, don't be surprised. You ultimately turn her down despite the fact that she was possibly a fantastic option for you. The most damaging effect of participating in certain activities is that it alters your expectations for pretty much everything else in life. We start to anticipate a lever or an easy button for everything. If we wake up a day and want a million dollars, we expect to be able to pull a little lever and have it instantly. We literally become the mouse in the corner of the cage unable to stop pulling the lever in order to save his life. But the more we pull it, the more control it gains over us. Numerous guys totally missed the point since it's not about getting a release in the first place, but more importantly, earn it the right way. Remember, it's all about the challenge, and if you take the challenge the wrong way, pretty much any activity you take part in becomes absolutely worthless. There are advantages to holding back, but if that is all you care about, you are totally missing the point. What it comes down to is not sitting in a corner and pulling the lever when you could be out there earning the reward through challenges that enable you to develop and push past your current limits. So the point here is to choose to be a man and not a mouse. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.